revision series now we will be discussing the chapter in brief okay in just half an hour we will try to cover the chapter or if need be uh, if need be we will be taking taking questions from you guys also i will be taking questions from you guys also so we will try to basically discuss the things in brief and then taking questions from you guys also and then we will be taking yes. questions from anxiety example and there are several other books also from where i will be taking in questions all right now all if you look at question number 3 and also why your cameras are not in the class hmm question Sir, number 3 says okay no sure then question number 3 says that which of the following statement is not true for organic manure manure all of you know manure hum khad ko kehte hain Yes, manure, sir. all of you know what is manure. Yeah. By the way, all of you yes. are comfortable with Urdu words, na? No? Like if I were to use Urdu words in between. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So which one is not true for organic manure? First of all, it enhances water holding capacity of soil. I know it is true. In the chapter I discussed that when you add the organic manure, it actually <laughs> increases the water absorption capacity of the soil. It has a balance of all plant nutrients. It provides humus to soil. It improves texture of soil. So we know, हमें पता है कि ये soil को humus provide करता है. Yes, humus sir. क्या होता है? Basically, it's an organic component, dead and decaying component yes. that is found in the soil, along with the alive component like the microorganism that is found in the soil. Right now, that was humus. it improve texture of the soil also yeah yes, so we see that when we add organic manure organic manure ki jo particles ki texture hoti hai it is somewhat bigger than the size of the soil so it will actually improve the texture of the soil yeah another thing is yes. that it has got balance of all plant nutrients no it is not that much yes. rich in plant nutrients it does not consist of all the plant nutrients right so there by option number b will be false getting it now yes. okay also uh, you guys explain to me like what is sieving what is threshing winnowing and hand picking yeah <clears throat> question number 4 or uh, let me uh, assign the terms okay winnowing you explain to me ahmed okay sieving arhan you explain to me okay threshing amos see if you can uh, relate with this term or have you studied this term if you have no, this uh, no okay then no worries we will be discussing that in the chapter okay now don't worry okay. about that yes <clears throat> of first to, uh, hmm. it differentiates small objects with bigger objects. पार्टिकल्स hmm. hmm. like that is false that is um, not what winnowing is <clears throat> yeah arhan what is winnowing hmm is so, uh, blowing for the grains to fall out from the chaff hmm so basically what is done in the winnowing we see that the weight of the seed and its shaft is different weight of the seed and the seed coat is different now seed coat seed se halki hoti hai right so thereby yes, using the using the wind i can separate the seed from its seed from its coat so winning is actually yes. the method in which heavier component of a mixture are separated from the lighter substance with the help of the wind okay now okay i think we sh we should go back to the chapter and then let's 
start revising from there. Okay. Okay, in just a moment, you will be able to see my screen. <laughs> Okay, my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So while we were discussing this chapter, crop production and management, we did studied the history of crop production. So humans were not always farmers. Once they were hunters and gatherers. Okay. Right. So once they were they used to hunt down the animals gather the food from the forest, gather the fruits, gather the uh, seeds of different types of crops from the forest, thereby how they were obtaining their food. Yeah. And as time progressed, they discovered fire, they discovered wheels, right now. They also discovered that they can grow crops from the seeds, right? And then they learned the techniques, the techniques how to grow crops from the seeds, right now. And they thereby also they started to search for fertile lands there where they can grow more amount of crops right now. So all of this started happening and thereby humans started to settle nearby the river bodies also. Right. So this is how humans started cultivating. So and also like what is crop production? I suppose all of you are aware of that. Basically growth of plants on a large scale of the same type. Yes, Growth of same type of plants on a large scale is called as crop. Right? So if I were to grow yes, sugar cane on a farm on a large scale, that will be called as crop. Right? No? Or if I were to grow few plants in my garden, that doesn't mean it's a crop. It's simply few plants there. Right? All right. Yes, so earlier we saw that people had a nomadic life. People used to roam here and there in search for food. And later on, they had a settled life. Right now. And also, yes, people sir. have been domesticating animals like cattles and dogs for so many years. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right now. <clears throat> okay. And why there was necessity of Moving, uh, moving from a nomadic lifestyle towards a settled life. Yes, anyone who can explain why humans moved from a nomadic life to a settled life. Yeah, Ahmed, Moaz, Rahan. Nomads are who? Nomads are people who moves from one place to another. Like they will be living in a certain place. They will be uh, using up the resource of that place. Right now, they also have got cattle with them. They have sheep with them right now. So they are herders also. Yes. They are herders also. Right. Now, once all the food stock of a given place has been consumed by a particular group right now, 
so they will now move on to another place even nowadays even now you can find so many uh, nomads are active okay now yes sir also they are skilled in a particular set uh, uh, par, uh, in uh, certain things they are very skilled like i have seen so many nomadic peoples who are skilled in tool making okay yes sir right now they are skilled laborers as well so they will utilize uh, the resources of one place they will settle there for one or two months and once they have utilized the resources once they utilize uh, resources have exhausted they will move to another place so thereby they were having so many difficulties the early humans were also like this once they have found a area where there is abundance of fruits vegetables where it was a uh, having a suitable atmosphere su suitable uh, environment so they will be settling there and then moving on to another place but then they had so many difficulties what difficulties were they facing who can explain this to me the climate change good climate change if the winter arrives right their flock might die the people might be suffering yes, from sir. diseases also what else you have heard of the proverb hunter gets hunted sometimes the hunter gets hunted yes sir yeah was ahmed yes, the people sir. who are hunting sometimes hunter gets hunted yes sir so the people who are actually hunting the animals they might be attacked by the animals they might also be eaten up by the animals right so weather was weather was also not suitable weather was back in those days weather was very harsh okay so climate change was also there right danger of being hunted down by the animals was there right now so yes. due to all these factors they were moving to different they were moving towards a settled life near the river bodies right also uh, if they were to be living when they were having a nomadic lifestyle so suppose they are living in an area where there is scarcity of water right so once the water resource has exhausted they will have to move on to a different place right but then again there also water is not uh, um, sufficient enough to meet the needs of the people so then again they will have to move so thereby they started settling down settling near the river bodies right so eventually all of this led to starting of farming okay and farming basically gives you food and why do we need food because we need food in order to carry out our daily functions to stay fit to stay healthy right basically that thing okay now when we uh, heard of the term crop crops are also different types different crops are grown for different purposes yeah like yes. i won't be growing the rubber crop for the purpose of nutrition yeah yes sir i won't be growing the cotton crop for the purpose of nutrition i i'm i don't have i won't be eating such crops i won't be eating rubber or crop uh, or uh, cotton plants right moaz arhan ahmed so the above uh, crops have been classified as the food crops and the cash crops food crops and the cash crops so those crops that are grown in order to obtain food those were called as food crops and the one that are uh, grown classified that is also uh, classified as a cash crop okay the definition is not complete here just wait for a while so those crops that are mainly targeted to obtain food they will be called as food crops and then you have crops like sugarcane cotton <clears throat> so these are those crops <clears throat> which are later on processed inki processing hoti hai cotton is not directly utilized if you were to plug the cotton bulbs directly from the uh, crop land you won't start using it it goes through a process of processing right what are the process under which the cotton goes yeah first of all the cotton seeds has to be removed from it yeah the cleaning it also cleaning has to be done ginning has to be done 
right now where yes. you start where you separate the seeds out of the cotton right and then yes. it has to be rolled into threads and then finally woven yes. into a fabric fabric so thereby itni sari processes se ye cotton hamara hokar guzar raha hai thereby its price increases now yes <clears throat> yeah kya hame वेजिटेबल्स की प्रोसेसिंग करनी कर, करनी पड़ती है डू वी हैव टू प्रोसेस द वेजिटेबल्स यू ईट इट एज इट इज ग्रोन इन द नेचर गेटिंग इट नाउ सिमिलरली सुगर केन सुगर केन की भी प्रोसेसिंग होती है यू प्रोसेस इट इन द इंडस्ट्रीज आप उसे फिल्टर करते हैं यू बेसिकली फर्स्ट टेक आउट ऑल द एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम द सुगर केन यू बॉइल इट इन अ बिग कंटेनर एंड देन यू सिंपली कूल इट डाउन सो यू विल बी first getting jaggery okay so jaggery yes. is obtained from it and sugar is also obtained from it acha by the way you guys tell me which one is more beneficial for health jaggery or sugar <coughs> jaggery sir sir jaggery jaggery obviously do you know why no sir look basically hum jo white sugar crystals dekhte hain na इसमें फास्फोरस ऐड किया जाता है फास्फोरस इज एडेड होता है क्या है इस बड़े कंटेनर में हम सुगर केन जूस को हम बॉईल करते हैं राइट एंड ऊपर हमारा जो भी फ्लोट कर रहा होता है व्हाट एवर इज फ्लोटिंग अबव इट ओके दैट फ्लोटिंग थिंग इज टेकन आउट इट इज फर्दर प्रोसेस्ड एंड इन द प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ दैट थिंग Phosphorus is added, and you get the sugar. Okay, but jaggery yes. is hundred percent organic here. You haven't you haven't added yes. any chemicals in it, so thereby jaggery is more good. Also, in fact, any processed food is harmful for the health. जो भी processed food होती है, okay, that is actually harmful. Thereby, one should uh, either consume less or either not consume at all packed foods. Okay. Yes, right. And about uh, one important or one basic thing here is that where does all these crops come from? They are basically coming from the plants, not from the animals. Okay. So no matter whether you have got the rice plantation here, or whether you have got the cotton or sugar cane, they are coming from the plants, and plants does a process where they make the food. That process has been called as photo synthesis right yes sir you are was getting it or not are you getting it yes sir right it's these things are very simple okay sir so there by plants are, are those are the only animals present on this planet that can actually prepare their own food we humans does not have any such mechanisms so plants can prepare the food by the process of photosynthesis thereby we call them as autotrophs so here see the word autotrophs autotrophs it is made up of two words <clears throat> auto and trophs hmm. auto and trophos ye do words se milke banaye trophos okay yahan trophy but it is derived from trophos okay auto means self and trophos means nourishment nourishment i think ye sabko pata hai kya hai it's a simple word so those animals which are able to provide nourishment to themselves that are called as autotrophs and autotrophs ke nature mein kya examples hai green plants yes. the yes. green plants okay arhan ahmed moaz green plants are the examples of autotrophs second you have some examples of algae so hum dekhte hain wherever there is a wet place where, um um hum dekhte hain ki wherever there is a wet place or where there is a moisture you will get to see that green plant like structures grow there so those are called as algae so algae can perform photosynthesis so that is also an autotrophic and uh, a plant algae plant ke category mein aata hai okay so apart from that 
we see that there are some bacteria also who are autotrophic in nature. Can you guys quote me an example? Yeah, Ahmed, Arhan, especially you guys. The amoeba. No. Amoeba can't perform food synthesis. It does not have chlorophyll. <clears throat> Ahmed. The certain bacteria. Which one? Um, it's the, uh... cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria. Arhan, especially you remember this. This question might be asked in your exams, in your entrance exams. So, a bacteria hota hai, that is also autotrophic. Cyanobacteria. Okay, so Moaz, so what, can... what? They can? Do photosynthesis. They can do photosynthesis. Yeah. <laughs> they can do photosynthesis because they have chlorophyll in them. So most autotrophs are those animals which can prepare their own food. The okay. examples are green plants, algae, and the cyanobacteria. Okay? okay. Now back to our discussion. We were talking about the two types of crops based on their use. So those were basically food crops and the cash crops. Now, in the growth of plants, now there are several agricultural practices involved. Right? Like earlier, people used to just randomly grow the uh, crops, okay, without taking much care. So there was there was not much productivity. Yeah, harvest was not yes. good. So as people learned the requirements of the plant, thereby they adopted different techniques, different measures. Okay, we will come to the types of crops like zayat crops, sarif crops, and rabi crops. What we will be discussing that in the later part of the class. So as of now. See what are the basic practices involved in the growth of a crop. Yeah. So I will be asking from Ahmed. Ahmed, in a sequential manner, what are the practices involved in the growth of a uh, crop? By the way, uh, Ahmed also do confirm me. Like in your final exam, will this chapter be coming or not? Chapter number one, is that part? I think so, yes, sir. It will be coming, no? Uh, so you will be also benefited from this revision series then. And Moaz, you are studying this chapter uh, for the first time. Okay. Yes, Arhan, you will also be getting to revise this. Yeah. Yeah. Back to my question. In a sequence manner, state, uh, list the processes involved in agriculture. Like simple reasoning, we have agriculture practice karni hai, farming karni hai, to sabse pehle hume kya karna chahi hai? Uh, just let, let Ahmed try. And then you, you will answer if not. Yeah, Ahmed. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. What are the steps involved in agriculture? Um, uh, agriculture of soil and management of soil. नहीं हम यहाँ पे agriculture practices की बात कर रहे हैं. जब भी हम farming करते हैं क्या क्या steps involved होती है उसमें. हाँ मौज सबसे पहले हमें soil को क्या करना होता है. You have to loosen the soil. Okay. हमें soil को loose करनी होती है ना. How, sir? Yeah, or how, you have got <coughs> tools for that and you have got tractors for that. Yeah, Arhan. Sir, so we have to first prepare the soil by uh, loosening the soil. Uh, loosening and turning the, the soil. Then we hmm. have to then we have to add manures and fertilizers. Hmm. Then we have to irrigate the seeds and the soil. Then we hmm. have to harvest and then Hmm. Okay. Okay. So first See, of all, also uh, we have the weeds. Weeds also. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Basically, there are seven main agriculture practices while you are growing your crop. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हमें सॉइल को प्रिपेयर करनी होगी प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सॉइल बेसिकली मीन्स के टू लूज द सॉइल एंड टर्न दिस सॉइल राइट सो दैट इज इन्वॉल्व सो हेयर यू सी हाउ वी लूज द सॉइल सी आदर बाई यूजिंग ट्रैक्टर्स और अर्लियर प्लव्स वेर यूज nowadays nowadays plows are not used it has been replaced by the tractors okay yes sir so first step here involved is the loosening of the soil right <clears throat> now the question here comes why do we loosen or turn the soil what is the requirement of this hum hame kyun mitti ko dheeli karni padti hai so that the roots can penetrate deeper into the soil Exactly. Exactly. As here also you can see in the diagram, the roots here are penetrating deeper here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. By the way, we will come to that also in a moment. Now, loosening of the soil is important because it allows the roots to go deeper into the soil, and also we know that <coughs> uh, if you were to have clay soil. अगर आपके पास क्ले सॉइल होता है सॉइल के भी डिफरेंट टाइप्स होते हैं यू हैव द सैंडी सॉइल यू हैव द क्ले सॉइल यू हैव द लोमी सॉइल ओके सो इन सम ऑफ द सॉइल्स यू सी दैट देयर आर एयर स्पेसेस बिटवीन द पार्टिकल्स सॉइल के पार्टिकल्स के बीच में भी स्पेसेस होते हैं ठीक है सो उन स्पेसेस में क्या होता है एयर होता है राइट सो सो दैट ह्यूमस कैन ग्रो सो दैट Yes, Plant can absorb the water. Yes. See, see, take an example. <clears throat> you have this over here. See, these are the particles of the soil. The soil ke particles hain, and you can see there are empty spaces between the two, right? Moss, or ham. Yes, sir. And you have got another type of soil over here. These are also particles, but comparison in comparison to the first one, we see that there are less lesser space between the particles. Okay. So, yes. what is the benefit if there is more air space between the soil? I'm not talking about the sandy soil. Sandy soil ke particles ke beech mein maximum air space hoti. I'm not talking about that. Okay. I'm talking about the soil in which you can do <coughs> farming वैसी soil की बात कर रहे हैं here ठीक है so if I were to grow a crop in this part or in this part where will I see that the roots will roots will penetrate deeper in the first one or second so one first first one. one so moz you see here what will happen exactly Roots have actually spaces in which it it can enter. Roots के पास space available है, right? It can go deeper and deeper. Why? Ah, uh, due to the air spaces present in the particles. But here, the roots will not penetrate deeper because <clears throat> the air particles are very compact. ठीक है? अब क्यों air क्यों ये loose कि ah why why here? In the second case, we see that there is no air space because we have not loosened the soil here. We haven't loosened the soil here, right? So it is for this purpose why soil has to be loosened. Getting it now, Moaz Arhan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So that uh, roots can penetrate deeper. That is one one reason. Another reason here is that we know that mitti ke andar bahut sare components living components paaye jate hain like for example you see the earthworms earthworms paaye jate hain right you have different yes. types of insects beetles are living under the soil as well you have different types of microorganisms found in a, uh, found in the soil if you were to take a sample of soil mix some water in it and take that water and observe that water under the microscope you will see that so many microorganisms are found there 
तो डैट प्रूव्स के मिट्टी में माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बैक्टीरिया पाए जाते हैं ठीक है so, मिट्टी के अंदर हमें देखने को मिलता है कि ह्यूमस होता है ह्यूमस बेसिकली इट कंप्राइज ऑफ वॉट इट कंप्राइज ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इट कंप्राइज ऑफ इंसेक्ट ऑल्सो वॉर्म्स प्लस अब माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म की डेथ होती है इंसेक्ट विल बी डाइंग वॉर्म्स विल बी डाइंग विल इट गो टू एनी अदर प्लेस नो इट डाइज इन द सेम सॉइल ठीक है तो प्लस डेड एंड डिकेइंग मैटर तो इन सब को हमने कहा कि इन्हें हम ह्यूमस कहते हैं माइक्रो माइक्रोब्स इंसेक्ट वॉर्म्स डेड एंड डिकिंग मैटर दैट इज कॉल एज ह्यूमस एंड द गुड पार्ट अबाउट द ह्यूमस इज दैट इट इज एक्चुअली गुड फॉर द सॉइल ये सॉइल के लिए अच्छा होता है इट एक्चुअली इम्प्रूव द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सॉइल गेटिंग इट नाउ ऑल राइट बोथ ऑफ यू सो How yes, does sir. loosening of the soil? How does loosening of the soil will increase the growth of humus? Moz, first you try to explain this to me, and then Arhan yes, will explain. How loosening of the soil will be helping in the growth of this humus? How it will be helping in the growth of microbes, insects, or worms? my question here is my question here is how loosening the soil particle how loosening the soil will allow the growth of humus in it the shallow yeah you you answer this then the uh, uh, organisms present the soil may feed mm -hmm. on uh, the roots so uh, that more microorganisms and uh, insects Uh, will you please repeat the first line again the, uh, due to uh, loosening the soil many more uh, microorganisms can be born due to the present of uh, air due to uh, mm. the gaps uh, mm. which were formed when we lose exactly exactly so due to loosening of the soil more air particle more air molecules can uh, go into the empty spaces and thereby the insects living there the worms living there the microorganisms living there will be getting sufficient air to breathe right so hence their growth will take place right so is tarah se humus ki growth badhegi and when they will die their dead and decaying matter will also be there right so this is how loosening is important theek okay? hai so here it says that helps in growth of microbes and earthworm adds humus to the soil and turns and loosen the soil further ab hum dekhte hain like the insects or the worms they will make channels inside the soil so when they will be moving inside those holes so they will also help in turning the soil now so they by Yes. Earthworms are called friends of the farmers. ठीक है क्योंकि फार्मर को तो जरूरत होती है कि हमारे मिट्टी में एयर पार्टिकल एयर मॉलिक्यूल्स प्रेजेंट हो सो दैट द्लांट कैन ब्रीथ सो दैट देर विल बी ग्रोथ ऑफ मोर ह्यूमस राइट नो वॉट आर द टूल्स डेट इज यूज फॉर लूजनिंग द सॉइल देर आर मेनली थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टूल डेट कैन बी यूज आई देर ए प्लफ कैन बी यूज द फर्स्ट इमेज यू सी either a hoe can be used or a cultivator can be used theek hai yes <clears throat> so the process that is used to loosen and turn the soil is a hum tilling kehte hain ya fir bluffing kehte hain theek hai <clears throat> right now we are talking about the loosening of the soil and the process that is used to turn this soil turn matlab kehne ka kehne ka kya matlab hota hai basically in turning the soil what does it mean to bring the lower level of the soil above look yes 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 say top soil hamari kya hai now it is deprived of all the nutrients say 
हमारी जो टॉप सॉइल है जिस पे फार्मिंग हो रही है अब लेट से कि सेवरल मंथ से हमने हमने सॉइल को लूज नहीं किया है ठीक है टॉप लेयर जो है सॉइल का उससे सारे न्यूट्रिएंट्स प्लांट्स ने सक कर लिया यूज कर लिया सो so, अब उसके न्यूट्रिएंट्स खत्म हो गए अब टॉप सॉइल के नीचे जो लेयर होगी ना अब वो रिच है दैट इज रिच इन न्यूट्रिएंट्स सो इफ आई वेयर टू ब्रिंग दैट लेयर ऑफ सॉइल एबव सो नाउ द सॉइल विल बी मोर फर्टाइल सॉइल विल बी अवेलेबल टू द प्लांट्स या यस मॉस सो हम क्या कर रहे हैं सॉइल को भी रिप्लेस कर रहे हैं वाई प्लॉफिंग ठीक है सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ लूजिंग एंड टर्निंग द सॉइल हैज बीन कॉल्ड एज टेलिंग ऑफ प्लॉफिंग अब हम देखते हैं क्या है ना इवन आफ्टर यू हैव डन द प्लॉफिंग देयर आर बिगर चंक्स ऑफ सॉइल प्रेजेंट ऑन द ग्राउंड ओके सॉइल के बड़े-बड़े टुकड़े प्रेजेंट होते हैं ग्राउंड पे सो विल इट बी सूटेबल इफ आई वे टू ग्रो क्रॉप्स ऑन सच लैंड ऑब्वियसली नो so in bare crumbs ko we need to break this clumps of soil okay so how we need to broke that we use basically a leveler hum ek leveler use karte hain what is a leveler see either we will be using a structure like this if you were to do farming on a small scale if you were to grow crops on your backyard on your in your ground you can use this small tool ठीक है और फार्मर्स यूज दीज स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो सी दिस वन इन द्लास आई टूल के हम लेवलिंग कैसे करते हैं लेवलिंग में बेसिकली वी ब्रेक द बिगर चंक्स ऑफ सॉइल बिगर क्रम्स ऑफ सॉइल को हम ब्रेक करते हैं स्मॉल पीसेस में राइट ना सो सी दिस ऑक्स ओवर हेयर ऑन द बैक ऑफ देर बॉडी अ वुड विल बी basically fitted via a rope and as they will be moving in this field the bigger chunks will be broken down okay so that one is called as ox drown scraper ox drown scraper second thing is that we can actually use the tractor and on the back of the tractor a leveler has been attached so it's a laser land leveler okay okay Also, वापस से हम बात करते हैं इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट इम्प्लीमेंट्स दैट इज यूज फॉर प्लॉफिंग एंड टेलिंग द फर्स्ट टू आर नॉट इज दे आर लेस लेस इन यूज ओके द थर्ड वन दैट इज कल्टीवेटर इज यूज ऑल्सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द साइज ऑफ द फार्म यू आर कल्टिवेटिंग अगर आप बड़े फार्म पर खेती कर रहे हैं सो यू विल बी प्रिफरिंग कल्टिवेटर राइट इट ऑल्सो इट विल बी सेविंग योर टाइम एंड इट विल बी uh less costlier also right okay same piece of land pay if you were to employ four or five um laborers so you will have to pay them wages or if you were to hire this for just two hours in just two hours your whole land will be bluffed by a cultivator so bluff kya hota hai the structure is very simple it is made up of wood and it is being pulled by a, a bull or it could be other animals also <laughs> in some cases it could be yes. horse also but that is rare to see theek hai the ancient times se use hota aa raha hai okay so it has been used since the ancient times and here the structure is simple okay so hum is structure kya dekhte hain structure is somewhat like this in fact this is not asked in the exam but still see ye kuch is tarah ka structure hota hai and the lower part of it is the part that goes into the soil and yahan pe hum ek iron strip add karte hain we you add a iron strip over here yes sir iron strip is added here so that is a bluff and then hope you can see over here and then you have the cultivator right so these are the modern uh, options and actually it saves time and it is most more effective aur kai bar kya hota hai na कि हम कल्टीवेटर में ही लेवलर को भी अटैच करते हैं एज द लैंड इज गेटिंग कल्टीवेटेड इट विल बी लेवल डाउन आल्सो, राइट ओके व्हाई लेवलिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज बिकॉज द बिगर कम्स ऑफ विल बी ब्रोकन डाउन दैट इज आल्सो करेक्ट आल्सो व्हाट विल हैपन नो 
if I were to have bigger clumps of soil on the ground. So thereby, मुझे seeds को sow करने में problem होगी. On a ground yes. like this, on which bigger crumbs of soil are spread like this. So what will happen? What while I am spreading the seeds, seeds will be accum accumulating over it. Okay now. So thereby you will be having problems in seeing uh, in uh, sowing also. हमें irrigation करनी है हमें plants को water provide करना है. In that case also, these bigger chunks of soil will uh, create problems. So thereby it is important to level the field. Getting it more as Ahmed Arhan. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, so it sir. helps in seeding and it also managing the crop in a better manner, so that you can have more yield and the quality of crop is also better. So these were the agriculture implements that is used for the purpose of leveling. So traditionally, the farmers, the first image you are seeing, ox ground scrapers were used, but the modern farmers, they have now shifted towards the laser land leveler, right? So you basic things, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Now comes the process of sowing. The so sowing here basically refers to the what? It refers to what? Spreading seed on the ground, spreading seed on the yes, farmland. And how can we do? Either it can be done manually, or either it can be done using machines also. Okay. Seed drills. Hmm. Seed drills can be used. And in fact. मशीन ज्यादा इफेक्टिव होते हैं यहाँ पे सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स के इवन बिफोर के हम सीड सो करते हैं ग्राउंड में फर्स्ट कम्स द सेलेक्शन ऑफ प्रॉपर सीड्स ठीक है सो ऑन व्हाट बेसिस वी विल बी चूजिंग द सीड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द बेसिक थिंग इज जस्ट गो फॉर द हाइब्रिड सीड्स हाई यूल्डिंग वेराइटी हम ऑप्ट करेंगे राइट आफ्टर द ग्रीन डिवॉल्यूशन हाई यूल्डिंग वेराइटी सीड्स वे manufactured okay so that actually gives you more amount of yield second thing is that hum kaise check karein ki hamara seed proper quality ka hai ya fir nahi how can we check that yeah you guys tell me moz you also think so we can put them mm -hmm. so we can put them in water so uh, hmm. because hollow and damage will fl uh, flow out of the water ठीक है handful of seed put that in water if uh, if a good amount of seed actually um, goes to the bottom then it means that here yeah, the seed quality is good okay now also farmer why they should be using good quality seeds why they should be using healthy and clean seeds because <clears throat> because it will improve the fertility uh, it will improve the yield of the crop okay no selection of the right variety of seeds will depend on the soil on the climate on the irrigation and other region factors also like what do i mean okay, for example <clears throat> i have to grow a certain type of crop mujhe ek certain type of crop grow karni hogi so the seeds which i have to buy so mujhe ye bhi khayal rakhna hai ke soil has to be correct okay Like you can't grow cotton in sandy soil. Cotton को आप sandy soil में grow नहीं कर सकते हैं, right? So soil also has to be correct. While we are choosing the seeds, we have to take care of those factors also. Kya, yeah, I have got that farm. I should also be aware that the plant which I am intending to grow. So all other criteria are also being met or not, right? Also the seed we need to uh, we will be buying. We need to see kya. Yeah, Usually मेरे फार्म में ये डिजीज प्रिवलेंट है जब भी मैं क्रॉपिंग करता हूँ द्रॉप कैच इज दीज डिजीज सो आई विल गो फॉर दैट वेरियंट ऑफ द सीड्स विच इज रेजिस्टेंट टू दैट पार्टिकुलर डिजीज ठीक है नॉज अहमद यू गैस आर गेटिंग इट और नॉट 
Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Also, if I were to go for the normal seeds, जो high yield variety वाले seeds नहीं हैं, so I will see that their germination will be very slow. ठीक है? अगर seeds बहुत ही देर से germinate करेंगे, so I will have to wait more and the process of cropping will be very longer. ठीक है? Also, uh, if there is a disturbance in the climate, okay. If there is a disturbance in the climate, the normal seeds will not bear the disturbance. Right now, they will be catch the disease. But the high yield variety and the disease resistant seeds, we should be uh, taking care of. Okay, they will be also bearing the harsh climatic conditions. So harsh climatic conditions may be survive. कर पाते हैं या नहीं? We have to take care of that also. Right. So these are the things we need to take care of while we are selecting the seeds. Right, and how to separate damaged seeds from healthy seeds? We can do it ourselves by putting the seeds in water. If they are floating, it means that they are under the hollow. Hai. Right? Why hollow? Because they have been eaten by the insects and the microbes. 